Hello gamers from around the world, this is Akimidis, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a preview video for the GameStack Live event from Microsoft. Ok guys, last week we talked about the rumor that Microsoft is having a game focused event in April, but what we actually do know is that a developer conference called GameStack Live event is taking place on April 20th and 21st. And Microsoft has detailed the program of this conference and by doing so they have given some cool insight and a preview of what to expect during these two days. As always, you can find all the links to the sources in the description down below. Now don't expect a public game focused event with that developer conference. That conference is more like a scientific conference for developers and is separated in different so called sessions that cover a lot of the different topics like graphics, systems and tools, production and publishing and more. And within each of these sessions we have different talks of different software and hardware developers about certain topics. And the main focus of the entire event will be the new SDK for DirectX 12 called the Agility SDK. The SDK is the software development kit and is basically the tool set for the developers that want to develop the next gen games for either Windows 10 or of course the Xbox Series S and Series X consoles. And with this new developer kit which is supposed to roll out around the time of the conference, meaning April 20th and 21st, developers can now better optimize the new consoles without impacting their development process for games of other systems like the older consoles. So the conference will detail a lot of the technology that is then available for developers and in this video we are going to go through the most important tools of this conference. But before we go through all of that I want to ask you for a favor. If you watch this video and end up enjoying yourself then please consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. This doesn't cost you anything but it helps my channel more than you think and I would really appreciate your support. But now let's talk about the GameStack live event. The entire event will be kicked off by a keynote speech from head of Xbox Phil Spencer who will more generally talk about the next generation of gaming and the next gen graphics. This will be a more general talk about where the industry is heading and what the potential of next gen graphics and game development will be like. And like I said in the intro the event will mostly focus on the new DirectX 12 SDK the agility kit. The good news is that some developers like 343 Industries, Turn 10 and Epic Games have already been able to test the new SDK over the last weeks and months. So when these kits will roll out to all developers we can assume that it has already been tested and the even better news is that we can expect games like Halo Infinite which is coming out this fall and the next Forza game and of course all the games that run in the Unreal Engine to take full advantage of all the new features that will get highlighted at this conference. So just thinking about what the next Forza, Halo and of course games like Hellblade 2 will look like gives me goosebumps. Ok but what are these features and tools that developers will now be able to utilize? One focus at the event will be direct storage and I quote now from the official website of the event. Microsoft is excited to bring direct storage and API in the DirectX family originally designed for the Velocity architecture to Windows PCs. Direct storage will bring the best in IO tech to both PC and consoles just as DirectX 12 Ultimate does with rendering tech. So basically Microsoft is bringing the Velocity architecture that they have advertised a lot for the Xbox Series consoles to PC. Just as a reminder, the Velocity architecture described the capabilities and architecture that is now possible with the SSD and the new hardware decompression. So basically this is the technology that allows us to have those highly reduced load times in games that allows better asset streaming for the game engines, meaning for instance less pop-ins and even complete new game designs because the data can now be loaded way faster into the memory pool of the system. Now why is this so good news that this comes to PC now? Well, games are mainly developed on PC and all the Xbox games will also be released on PC and obviously game design is always limited by the smallest common denominator and that is at this point the PC. Of course I'm not talking about the super duper high end PCs but games that come out on PC usually don't have as a minimum spec for instance an SSD. But when this velocity architecture is now available for game developers on PC we can expect that the games are actually designed with that SSD and fast asset streaming in mind. And I bet that the minimum specs for PC will be raised for those next gen games. So good stuff here my friends. And another topic of the conference will be of course ray tracing. And I know that many gamers just associate good reflections with ray tracing but ray tracing has so much more possibilities and if you want to learn more about what ray tracing actually is I highly recommend my dedicated video on this. Now during the conference we will get different talks about ray tracing and the first is coming directly from Nvidia. They will talk about the implementations of ray tracing in Minecraft 
as an example on how to implement ray tracing in games. This talk will be specifically for developers that are new to the topic of ray tracing and it will be an introduction on how it works and what developers need to consider when they want to use ray tracing. And that's really interesting because with this smaller and even bigger developers that are new to the technology now get to learn more about it and that means that we will probably see this technology implemented in even more games over the course of the next years. Another talk about ray tracing is coming directly from AMD specifically about denoising. Now what is that? We all know that ray tracing is very hardware expensive technology. To get good results developers have to compute a lot of light rays which takes up a lot of resources. If you don't compute enough light rays your image gets noisy as shown here in this example and AMD has developed in their Fidelity FX tool suit something that is called a denoiser that allows us to smoothen out the noise that you get in an image when you don't compute enough light rays. And now I quote here from the official website of the conference. This presentation will explain how the AMD Fidelity FX denoiser allows for high quality ray tracing results without increasing rays per pixel and deep dives into specific RDNA 2 based optimizations that benefit both Xbox Series X and S and PC. As you can see this talk is then specifically targeting for the RDNA 2 hardware based optimizations that will allow developers to use ray tracing with less hardware demands. And I specifically am looking forward to see if developers will be able to use ray tracing in games in two or three years when they really get an idea of how the technology works without compromising on frame rates. Because that's what we all want. We want that high quality visuals at high frame rates. Okay, but speaking of high quality visuals, another topic at the conference will be new shader models called HLSL Shader Model 6.6. This will specifically target for developers to use the new mesh shaders in our Xbox Series consoles and of course PC and allow them to increase their flexibility on how they want to use their existing rendering approaches and adding all new ones to their suit. Okay, but another thing outside of graphics that will be discussed is the Havox physics engine, which powers the physics calculations in many, and I mean many, games. We all know that one of the big leaps in between the last generation and the current generation of consoles are the new CPUs, but all that people seem to talk about is either frame rates or some graphic features. But what the new CPUs also allow us to do is to compute physics and AI way better and so I am particularly excited to learn how developers can use those new CPUs to give us better simulations of physics and the worlds in our games. And at the conference there will be a talk about this Havoc physics engine and how they can use the updated physics engine without sacrificing frame rates. I quote again from the official preview. Here we will talk through some heuristics needed to achieve more stable physics simulations without sacrificing performance or adding additional state to the simulation. So good stuff here and I can't wait to see games that actually leverage that technology. Well there are a ton of things that will be discussed at this developer conference but I can't go into all the specifics in this video to not blow it up. Just to give you an idea there will be talks about Playfab which helps manage analytics and scaling for multiplayer games and of course there will be a lot of talk about Xbox services and Azure allowing devs to run their games in the cloud which will be interesting to see how developers can now optimize their games to not just run well on our consoles or PC but also in xCloud. Of course there will also be a lot of talks about how to improve the quality of multiplayer games, how developers will be able to use ray tracing and other technologies to improve the audio quality in games or how to make games more inclusive and accessible. One last thing I want to mention is that there will also be a session about production and publishing and especially one talk will focus on Game Pass and what the chances of this subscription service means for game development. And since the core audience of this talk will be developers and publishers it is always a good chance to brag about some numbers and so maybe we will hear about some new metrics on how Game Pass is performing. But with that I want to come to an end of this video. I know that the developer conference will definitely not be something for everyone or for the masses but usually we get some cool informations out of these kind of events and you can rest assured that I will cover it here on my channel and will try to break the information coming out of this down in an understandable way so that we can all appreciate what will come for developers that make the games that we all love. These are exciting times for gaming in general and with the recent news that E3 will come back in June I do hope that we will get to see at least to some extent what games will look like in the next couple of years that will actually use all these technologies that we have discussed in this video. But for now I want to thank
thank you all for watching and just wanted to remind you if you did enjoy this video to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe consider to turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. And if you know someone who would enjoy this kind of content, please feel free to share it out. I really do appreciate all your support. And let me know in the comments below, are you excited for that technology talk that will come up at end of April? What do you think games will look and feel like in a couple of years when they take advantage of all that technology? And besides here on YouTube, you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I see you the next time and game on. Oh.